What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Strike Out Beer Quick Beer Reviews with your pals Alan and Rapid Dave. I'm Alan. I'm Rapid Dave. And today we are drinking from Westlake Brewing mm -hmm. Crispy Surfer. Ooh. This is a cold IPA, West Coast style, taken further, light, crisp, and hoppy, crushable. 6% alcohol by volume, 35 IBUs, average score of 3.74. Out of five, out of one hundred and sixty-nine ratings. Nice. You know, when I saw Crispy Surfer, I, I you know, and you know, we fall into the Crispy Boys every so often, and it's like, oh, okay, well, it's a lager, or it's maybe, I mean, maybe it's a Pilsner or something like that. And I was going to be super excited, but I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it for what it is. This is the absolutely lightest ipa i've ever seen it does not look like an ipa at all and it's a it's a cold ipa so let's cheers miles and miles of good things mm -hmm. well it does have that murky that murky look to it a little bit paler you know not as much color coming coming on it's okay it's quite pale uh, it's definitely got that ipa taste to it it, yeah. it definitely does now we got uh, a tall boy here. Now you went down to Westlake. This is their first time being there. Yep. What'd you think? Um, pretty cool spot. I, I got a pretzel while I was there. So I, I was out. I, I went to a, a field trip with the youngest kiddo, went to the Pro Museum. And then I was gonna hit up a bunch of breweries, just have one beer and move on. One beer, move on, one beer, move on. Well, I went here and I was like, well, they've got a pretzel. I'm gonna have the pretzel. And they have a, I mean, it's like it's huge, it's a giant pretzel. Mm -hmm. And I get it. So I order I order a pretzel and I order a beer. I get my beer, drink it about halfway through it. The pretzel shows up. I'm like, okay, have my beer, full pretzel. The pretzel was so hot. I had to let it sit. Like it was it was hot, fresh. Yeah. Couldn't even tear it apart. It was so hot. <laughs> um, so I was like, okay. So nice. I ended up having two beers while I was there. It's like, well, yeah, it's it's a good thing to have, right? You know, right, right, right. There we go. I just wanted to make sure I got it. Westlake Brewing. Check them out. Westlakebeer.com. Now they're in Deep Ellum. If you're familiar with the downtown Dallas area, they're in the Deep Ellum portion of it. You know, it, when I went there, I rolled right out front, parked right there, didn't have to go in a parking lot or anything like that. Threw a couple uh, coins in the uh, the little what the hell are those things called. Uh, parking meter meter do a couple coins in the meter is like seeing a little bit bud i had no cash or coins with me i parked in the back and you had to pay for parking back there and it was like five bucks yeah is what i paid um but it was like five bucks for like 24 hours or something like that so yeah. it, it wasn't anything like absurd or anything like and so had a couple beers had a pretzel grabbed two different beers uh Four total beers, two of each. Uh, we had two of them on the show last week. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we're having the, the other two um, or the other one, I guess. Um, but we've had them on before. It was uh, Peter, the, the, the guy out there. You know, I did the one chip challenge with them. We had them on the show after that. They brew low ABV beers, um, stuff that you go out they have a lot of they do a lot of uh athletic stuff and so it's it's lighter beers crisper things like that like with this ipa you're getting not your traditional ipa this is the lightest crispest ipa i've ever had in my entire life well that's a six percenter it's not it's not terribly low but you know but it doesn't look like an different. ipa it, it looks more like a lager is what it looks like yeah you know mm -hmm. uh but no i had a great time out there was out there for a little bit and uh, enjoyed my time. Staff was awesome, friendly. Uh, the beer was delicious. What I had out there and what I took home with me, and the pretzel was magnifique. Yeah, I really enjoy their their layout. The inside's really nice. You know, you have the long tables in there, and then you also have the outdoor area, the the um, huge patio area. Yeah. 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 So they, you are right. They do a lot of quite. They do quite a bit of like social runs. They do uh, beer yoga, yoga things like that. They're running clubs, 
Um, so they have a lot going on trivia night. So there's always something you can find out. Ooh, my goodness. Thank you so much. So, and it looks like brain dead. If, if you remember, if you were in the area for an extended period of time, brain dead brewing was in uh, deep Elm as well. They shut down, I think during COVID, they didn't make it out of COVID. And uh, looks like that their little social club, their running club, is uh is based out of Westlake now. So, but yeah, Deep Ellum Brewing, or it's in Deep Ellum, uh, Westlake Brewing. It's nice little kind of happening spot. I really enjoy it down there. It was a cool little spot, and like I said, I was out at the Perot, and it was like less than a mile away from the Perot. Right, mm -hmm. went out there for the kids, you know, field trip. It was one of those field trips where all the parents had to drive out there. So I was like, well, okay, that's cool. I'll drive out there. And then when I'm done, I'm just going to go hit up the Dallas side for beer because I, I, I don't get out to Dallas that much. Right. I was so going to say, you never, you never make your way out to downtown Dallas. There's no reason for you to be out there. You know what I mean? So you know, I, I got a bunch of beer breweries to visit over here in the Fort Worth area. Right. Um, if there's something I want in Dallas, I, I tell you and you go and get it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I was out there. I wanted to make some rounds. I, I went and visited them, community, uh, outfit had a great time at all those breweries had a, had a beer or two at, at all of them a little bit of food um good time good times nice. nice well this beer is going down quite tasty um you know yeah i think you're onto something here right it, you, you can pound the hell out of this beer now listen be careful it's six percent even though like we mentioned in previous shows it's like you know six percent now is what four percent was five years ago right, right. So now you're normally drinking 6% beers. And if you're having a 6% beer, it's hell, it might be even be called a session beer at this point, but, uh, yep. you know, it can still get you in trouble. This beer, the poundability on it is it's through the roof. Like really this, 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 for me, this is going to be a summer beer. And it, of course with crispy surfer, I assume that's what they were shooting for. Right. It, it gives you that some, the summer vibes, pool vibes, hanging out. You're at the beach, you're by the pool relaxing in the sun, have a couple of these, and you're going to feel all right. Uh, here's a weird thing. So Crispy <laughs> Surfer, and for whatever reason, when I when I hear Crispy Surfer, mm -hmm. I hear the, the Ronnie James Dio song, Holy Diver, in my head, for whatever reason. I have no idea why. But I don't, know, I don't even know what that I, is. I, I, you know the song. If you were to pull it up and play it, you would yeah. you would know it. Oh. But it's it it's like a rock song, and it's, I mean, crispy surf surfer, holy diver. I mean, com two completely totally different things. But just somehow my brain just I, I don't know I, I I don't know. Just the way it works. But this is a delicious beer. I'm definitely enjoying it. I'm definitely liking it. Um. At six percent, as smooth as it is, this is a, a, a we've talked about this before, right? Like with IPAs, I think this is an IPA for someone who's not really sure if they like IPAs yet, and you want to start trying IPAs out. That's what this is. This yeah. isn't your traditional IPA. It definitely does have that IPA, that that hoppiness and that little bit of that bitterness, but it it eases you in. So if you're like, hey, I've never really had an IPA before, this is an IPA for you to start with. This really is. Um, one, you're going to pour if well, if you pour it in a glass, you're going to look at it and you're going to be like, this looks like most of my beers that I have. A little bit more murky, but and it's on the lighter side. It almost looks like lemonade in, it, the, it in a certain it, light. It's still really light looking and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not it's not your barrel aged beers. It's not your stouts. It's not your honestly your traditional IPAs. Your traditional IPAs are a lot more murky than this, a lot more bitter than this. Uh, this one has that bitterness that that fruit forward flavor without having the fruit in it that you have with the IPA is because of the hops and things like that. Almost like that pineapple taste to it. Um, but really good. Like it, if you've never had an IPA before, start with this. Yeah. And, and you're right with that. This is as it's described on untapped, light, crisp and hoppy. It's crushable. 
you know, when you're when you're dealing with an IPA and it's 35 IBUs, it's not going to kick you in the teeth. It's not going to be overly no. bitter. And this lives up to how it's described, which is actually kind of refreshing if you think about it. Like, yeah. I think some people go on here and they try to sell you a beer that they had the hopes for and it didn't materialize, right? But they still want you to think of this beer to be like this. And, and with a beer that looks like this, um, you know, we're going right through it and the crushability is through the roof. Got a great mouthfeel. It looks phenomenal. Smells great. It really does smell good. Like, man, when you start catching those beers that smell good, you just sit there, the, your nose in the beer the whole time. So damn good. Yeah. Have you seen the uh, baseball celebration for the Minnesota Twins? No. The home run? They have a fishing vest that they put on. Oh. It says land of a thousand lakes. A thousand lakes. Okay. Minnesota. And you have a little fishing rod that you get. You know, <laughs> They just had a three-run Jimmy Jack to tie it up against the Dodgers right now. Um, <laughs> oh, boy, comes back in the dugout and puts on his little vest. And he's got his little fishing rod. He's like, mm. if, if you're confused by this, uh, let me go ahead and just explain it for you. Uh, uh, you know, we have guys. several different podcasts on our network, and we are baseball guys right now. Baseball season's in full swing. We actually host two or three baseball podcasts. We have SB Baseball. We have Talk In Baseball with Allen, and then we have the Ranger Roundup. Right, it Which, it's crazy right now. We're putting out so much content; it's insane. It's it's it is like I've I've posted uh, my last two Patreon videos. We're kind of talking about that, right? Uh, about all the content that we have out there and things like that. But also like explaining like why we're doing that, right? Like why are we doing all this other stuff? Are we getting away from strikeout beer and the beer reviews and things like that? No, we're not. Mondays and Wednesdays are still those variety shows. We're still going to do the the quick beer reviews and things like that throughout the week. Um, but we also have like content out there that's not like beer related that we want to get out there. Like right now, we watch a lot of baseball now, right? Uh, and we have information and thoughts on baseball. And we want to get them out there. But not just that, like I'm doing talking lines with Alan, which right now is more of a solo show. But as the football season gets closer and as we get into the football season, that'll become more of a, a me and you type of show. Right. We've talked about it. We want to do kind of like a Lions podcast because I'm huge into the Lions and you like talking about the Lions because of what they have going on and things like that. And just how excited I am about it. And how much you want to beat me down and just tell me how, just shut up. You're still the Lions, right? Uh, but then we have, you know, the Ranger Roundup, which is great. You do that on a weekly basis. Love that show um, where you talk about the Rangers and you mispronounce the Rangers players' names and things like that. Oh, every, uh, week. every week. Uh, every week. Um, and then we, we have our fancy football podcast that we're starting to do together, which – Strikeout Beer started as a fancy football podcast, and we've kind of – it's always kind of been there when season's going on, but we're like, you know what? Let's just get some fancy football content out there with just the content. Uh, we've done that kind of with some of our avenues and Patreon and things like that, but we're actually doing just straight – with all these, they're just straight audio podcasts. We're going to get in, get out, and the best thing about these is they're 5 to 15 minutes long each. That's it. We get in, we get out, and we're done. Yep. So check you them want out. Live action. You you catch us on Mondays and Wednesdays. Whenever you see those uh, notifications go off on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube, where you can you can interact with the shows every single week. Yep. Faux show, but the uh, crispy surfer delicious beer, absolutely love it. Let's finish it off. Cheers, Mazel Mazel. Good things. thumbs up for me rapid dave oh yeah big time love it crush abilities through the roof great taste and like you said you, you nailed it right on the head this beer is if you're looking to get into ipas and some of them are too bitter they're too they're too over the top they're too over hopped um this is something you could dip your toes in and not be overwhelmed with it's it's actually got a great taste to it it's got a great just a great fl uh, feel. It's not over the, you know, it's only 6%. It's not 
seven, eight, nine, or hell, they go even higher than that. They do. Right? Um, so yeah, you you want to try out some IPAs? This, this is the might, one for you. This this could be one of the ones that uh, get you hooked. For show, sure. for show. Sure. But you know what, guys? Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you guys as always. I'm Alan. Robert Dave. Talk to you guys later. Deuces.